Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog. I honestly don't know how good this vlog is gonna be because today is like all school, like literally all school. And then tomorrow I have my internship and then I come home and do homework basically. And this is going up on Friday, so I'm just saying yeah but of course i'm going to vlog so i guess i'm not going to stress out too much about it and it's really really bright out i don't know if you guys can tell i have about 20 more minutes before class and i'm just so tired because i actually have to get up early on wednesdays so i just got done eating lunch and everything my first class went really well he liked my little projects i just need to make some corrections but also i need tracing paper and like i couldn't find the proper size here at my school so I'm having mother go get it today, but yeah, so I'm just heading into my second class. It's actually getting quite hot here. All right, so mother's home. She picked us up some Subway, as you can see here. I have my usual little sub. There we go. She looks like that with my favorite salt and vinegar chips and Diet Coke. Very exciting. What did you get tonight, mm. Sherry? She got a turkey sub, all right. Looking good, Sherry. I got turkey with lettuce and tomato and green pepper. Hi guys, so I am driving, if you can tell. I know a lot of people like watching car vlogs and I do too, but I am not the best like multitasker. Like, I mean, I guess I could just sit here and like talk to you guys. But also, um, see, can't really do this very well. I don't have a car mount, so it's like really, really hard to like, I'm like just driving with one hand, but um, I'm almost to where like I need to be, so it's not like a big deal. It's just, I would prefer not to, you know what I'm saying? But I am going to get my hair stuff to dye my hair, number one, because I'm gonna need it for Sunday, because I think Sunday is going to be the big day. I needed more vlog footage because today is Thursday and I have a vlog going up on Friday. We are at Sally's now. I might even run into Walmart because I need like this special purple shampoo. I normally don't go to Walmart. They sell it at CVS Pharmacy because I looked it up. I've done like so much research, guys. I'm gonna also find a hair mask like a coconut oil but I just need to check the ingredients to make sure that it doesn't have like any harsh sulfates and stuff which coconut oil shouldn't but I just still have to like look I'll probably find something in Sally's but I think I'm also going to run into the Walmart to see if they have the shampoo which I think they do there it is <laughs> Okay, so now I'm heading into Walmart to see if they have the shampoo. I'm really hoping they have it because it's just more convenient to come here than like go somewhere else because it's in the same little shopping center. So um, I'm hoping that this will be successful. And see, this is the problem when I come to Walmart. I don't know where anything is and I kind of look like I'm lost. So I really need to find the hair care. And of course, they don't have it, so I have to go to, I think I'm just gonna go to JCPenney and see if they have it. At least I got like the other products that I needed. Now I am trying CVS because I believe that CVS is supposed to have it. And CVS didn't have it. CVS said they had it, so I don't know why it wasn't in there, but whatever. We're heading to work. I'm working up a sweat. Okay, so we are at JCPenney, and this is actually where my mom gets her hair done. Let's see if they have the shampoo. Okay, and last but not least, I am going to try Ulta. JCPenney didn't have it, so I'm just gonna try Ulta because they probably gonna have it and I've been looking way too much and the reason why I didn't want to look in Ulta first was because I knew that I would be paying like a lot of money because nothing from Ulta is very cheap you know what I mean so I finally found the shampoo finally after like three tries I think I have everything to do with my hair now hi guys I'm going to put this clip in the beginning I am not a hair specialist whatsoever I've just done research and I've learned a little bit so don't you could just take every Everything that I'm showing you guys and like toss it out the window if you really don't believe me because I'm not that credible but I do have some knowledge because I have researched and I have put in time to this project so this is not my casual background just because I thought I would like change it up a bit I just wanted to answer the question if you guys like had a question about why I was doing this on my own and not going to a professional basically I just don't want to have to pay so much money because if a professional did do it it would be really really expensive and i find that with doing my own research and taking notes and studying on this 
I can do it successful. So I'm really, really hoping that I am successful. I know the condition, I know what products I'm going to use and everything. I have watched plenty of horror stories about hair. I did want to show you guys what I got at Sally's. Obviously I did go ahead and get a big bucket of bleach. I believe this was about $20. It is the Quick Blue Extra Strength for on and off scalp application. It's by L'Oreal. It's a really big bucket. This should cover my whole head and I'm hoping that I can save some to use for the second time I bleach my hair. And to go with the bleach, I got 20 volume and developer because 20 volume will preserve your hair longer than if I were to go with a 30 or 40 developer. It says it's for a sensitive scalp, which I'm hoping that's true because I do have a sensitive scalp and then I know more of you are gonna be like, oh my God, then this is crazy. But you know, I mean, I'm young, I can do crazy things and I don't really do a lot of crazy things. So this is probably the craziest thing I've ever done. So anyway, yeah. I got the sensitive scalp because I do have a sensitive scalp and I'm hoping that this is true. And then I should have already had one of these because I don't wash my hair every day. Um, it's just a shower cap for the shower, you know? I've never really used or owned a shower cap. I just twist my hair up into a top knot and then shower, just not washing it. Some water still gets on my hair, but when my hair is like bleached and everything, I really don't want the water touching it. And then I got some more gloves because the last time mother and I did it, yeah, we definitely need more gloves. So I went ahead and bought some more. A very important piece is moisturizing your hair. And I asked the Sally's lady like if this was a good one and it's just the coconut oil. It has some ingredients and stuff and I tried to see if there was any sulfate in this and I don't think there is But it is coconut oil to deep condition my hair and make sure that my hair doesn't fall out I am planning on only washing my hair twice a week I think the more you do to it the more harm it can get Except if you're like, you know conditioning it and everything overall though I think the hair likes the natural oils So I am going to let it have natural oils and then the last thing I got from Sally's was this little whisk I think my mom and I had purchased one of these when I dyed my hair the last time and when I say dye my hair the last time I mean like ombre my hair um, But we couldn't find it and so I just like picked this one up It was only like two dollars and then as you guys just witnessed it took me three tries or four tries to find my shampoo i have like a whole spiel on why i need this type of shampoo but i'll give you the simplified version i need it because number one purple shampoo is a necessity when you have blonde or bleached hair because you don't want your hair to become orange i'm going to be orange for about three weeks probably and that's okay because i don't want to kill my hair but yeah it tries to cancel out the brassiness the orange is color hair I read a lot about this I watched videos on it um, it's quite expensive it was like $20 it's definitely worth it I cannot take sulfate sulfate shampoo is so bad for your hair but sulfate is like the number one killer to your hair and yes it makes your hair feel soft and luxurious like for quite a while because it did with my hair but my hair started falling out so Please, when you are buying shampoo, even if it's like ex more expensive, please try to do your research and find a shampoo without sulfate because it literally will kill your hair. I got the sulfate free shampoo by Joyco. It is called Color Endure Violet. So it is a purple shampoo. I'm going to go ahead and open it for you guys because when I was trying to find a purple sulfate free shampoo, people did not open the cap. So I'm going to open the cap and show you guys that it is purple. See? I wanted to show you guys that because no one ever opened up their um, tube of shampoo to show people. Um, and that was really difficult when I was trying to find the right one. You're not really supposed to use this like every wash. You're just supposed to use it when your hair is getting like crazy and like brassy and stuff. Um, so you don't want to overuse this product. But anyway, I'm really happy with the shampoo. I haven't tried it yet and it probably won't go into action when I first like bleach my hair because my hair will still be like really orange. I'm really excited because Valerie's fixing dinner, but 
Right now, I need to organize myself and my schoolwork for this weekend so I know when I'm gonna do everything. I'm editing this vlog tonight, which is gonna be fun. We've got Valerie in here. Valerie, what are you cooking? I am cooking. Uh, we're having steak, and we're having the potatoes that I make, which are potatoes that are cooked in butter with sour cream on them, and we're gonna have green beans. I just thought the vlog should see this gorgeousness. Okay. She finally got home. She has this cute outfit on. And then mm -hmm. our magic bands finally came. Hi, Sherry. Hi, man. Hey, there's a different design. Uh huh. You may want to take your clothes off, Sherry. Oh, well. I love how I got that on tape. Okay. Um, yeah, they got a new design, I think. That's neat. But um, dinner is about to be ready, so we have to set the table and stuff, which is always fun. Mm hmm. Those are cute. Those are cute. The lovely meal prepared by our one and only Valerie out there. You can't really see her, but we have filet mignon, some green beans, and the potatoes. They're just simply amazing. We're gonna go ahead and devour this. Mm -hmm. 